Mumkey Cinematic Universe Character Ranking Tier List. This is my cup of tea. Who do we got? Okay. Okay, this looks like fun, folks. We could do this. We could do this easy. Jumpkey Moans! Uh, I'm thinking Jumpkey is either an A tier character or S tier. But let's hear what the audience has to say. F! Uh, is Patchy's GF in here? At first glance, I do not see Patchy's GF. Sorry, Patchy's GF. Uh, S, S, lots of S is okay. Yeah, no, it's it's mandatory. Jumpkey Moans is an S. Jumpkey Moans, of course, is the much more evil and edgy clone of Mumkey Jones. Uh, he says things th the way they are. He, he's not afraid to, to say it how it is. He has no sense of uh, uh, PC culture. He's willing to commit a school shooting because Jane Goodall does not want to fuck him. I don't know how you could expect a character to be any better than Jumpkey Moans. Jumpkey Moans is gonna break your bones. Jumpkey Moans is woke. He's red-pilled woke, that's for sure. Classy says J for Jane Goodall. Alexa is S or an A. I, I guess we're moving on. Alexa, she also tends to say things how they are. Uh, much like the average typical black woman, she has no filter. She'll she'll say whatever she wants. She's black. She's a woman. She doesn't take no shit. What do you mean literally who? Alexa has been in, featured in many a Monkey Jones video. A for A cup. Yeah, Alexa is pretty flat. That is unfortunate. I'd say because she she's used sparingly does not make many appearances, but oftentimes has the best punchlines of the episode she pops up in. We can give Alexa B tier. I think that's fair. I, I, I would easily throw her into B tier, if not A minus tier. Where's Jeremiah the Gamer? Maybe whoever made this forgot about him. Okay, Emperor Lemon. Only a member of the Mumkey Cinematic Universe because he narrated the rise, fall, and decay of Mumkey Jones, as well as was one of the co-stars of the Sody podcast. M. Lemon famously is a vegan, enjoys Taco Bell, uh, hates Reddit, and that's about it. NASCAR man. The man makes one video about NASCAR and you gotta write him off as the NASCAR man. Literally who? Literally who? Literally whomst? <laughs> Emperor Lemon is a fictional character? This is very disturbing. D for downward? D for downward spiral? Yeah, in terms of Monkey Cinematic Universe, he has a very small impact. And he quit the Sody podcast because he couldn't handle the comments section. Gonna have to throw Emp Lemon into D tier. I'm sorry, Emp. In term maybe in your cinematic universe you're S tier, but in mine, you don't bring much to the table. How, how am I supposed to put you up in the, the echelon of Alexa and Jumpkey? It's just impossible. Psy? Now, Psy is a character. Psy has been the MCU punching bag for at least three years now. Digging the spiral music. Thank you, Mindcrime. Psy F tier. No, 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 no. F tier is somebody who we get no enjoyment from. F tier is re reserved for a character that nobody enjoys the presence of. Psy is a classic character. Psy brings a lot to the table in, in terms of one, He's a digibro fanatic, which is just, it's frankly entertaining. Somebody who would unironically view digibro as a role model and destroy his own YouTube career because he wants to be more like digibro. That is fucking classic Psy. That, that automatically at least makes him C tier. Psy's unironic obsession with harem slash lowly anime is just refreshing how many guys do you know in their early 20s who live at home with mom and dad that brag about how much they jerk off to lowly hentai that is just 
that's the internet in a nutshell. You don't get that in your everyday life. You don't go to school. You don't go to the bar. You don't go to the McDonald's play place and meet people like this. You, you only get this on the internet. And internet degeneracy, de degeneracy is, is, it's key in the MCU. Rip to Epstein, a true king. Apache says he would buy size shirt. Sounds like a dream life. You meet people like that in prison? Well, Sai's not in prison yet. Uh, S, 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 S. I, I like Sai a lot. I would say I get as much enjoyment from Sai as I do from Alexa. Sai easily earns the B tier. I appreciate that the maker of this tier list used uh, Gangnam Style Sai for the photo. F for Federal Bureau of Investigation. Manimal, oof. See, all the new all the new fags in the audience won't know who Manimal is. An Manimal is an old school monkey character. We haven't seen the likes of Manimal since the Pokemon anime review back in 2016, folks. But in case you don't know, the original monkey gaming channel was Monkey and Manimal's gaming expedition he appeared as uh, a guest star in, in several anime reviews um and we had a short-lived podcast monkey and manimals movie expeditions but unfortunately i i have not spoken to manimal in like three years we both somehow ghosted each other Last I heard about him, I have a friend who is the manager of a local movie theater. I went to that theater to see an indie movie, I don't remember which one, and the mutual friend was working there, and the mutual friend told me he was roommates with Manimal, but Manimal decided to move his new girlfriend into the apartment, and all the other roommates uh, either by choice or by force had to move out and the movie theater worker was in the process of finding a new place to live because Manimal wanted to force his girlfriend to move in with all of his bros. Kind of sounds like an anti-bro code maneuver to me. Good for him though to finally get some pussy, but maybe fuck her at her house? I don't know if I would... Be the guy who's like, hey, I have two or three roommates. How about I make my fucking GF move in? Chad tier? I don't know if that's Chad. Manimal's epic S tier. She wanted a gang bang! Movie guy should move in with me. Uh, if you live in central Iowa, then maybe. But I don't think he wants to abandon his uh, manager job. C for cuck. He did have some very liberal opinions. You know, I, th I think Manimal does rank above Emp Lemon just because of his acting chops and his physique. C for Cuck is fair. Turkey Tom. You think I give a fuck about Turkey Tom? A fucker at her parents' house where grandma was on live support and is dying. Turkey who? Turkey Tom is cringe literally who? Literally who? The, given the fact that the entire chat does not know who Turkey Tom is, he easily earns a, a literally who ranking. <laughs> you think I respect Turkey Tom enough to pretend I know who he is? No. E-Rich, ugh. E-Rich. The co-host of the Is It Kino podcast for over 100 episodes abandons his best friend when suddenly it becomes unpopular to be associated with him. AKA a fucking a dickhead. Fucking dickhead. Could you imagine? You've been close personal friends with somebody for years. And the exact moment it becomes controversial to be associated with them, you say, fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> Get fucked. Forget the memories. 
Go to F tier where you fucking belong. I do not take that kind of shit lightly. You fucking burn this bridge, I will continue carpet bombing your side of the fucking lake for the rest of my life. Fuck you. Florian. Uh, Florian automatically goes to A tier. Because even when it was unpopular to be associated with me, Florian was blowing up my DMs. Florian stayed loyal. He stayed friendly. He had my back. He constantly made sure I was doing okay. And still to this day, he is more... Uh, he is more motivated to keep the Izakino podcast alive than even myself. And I'm the one directly profiting from it. That's how good of a man Florian Himsel is. If you're looking for a genuine friend who will have your back through thick and thin, no matter how popular it may be, you can do no better than Florian Himsel, a fucking king, a fucking Chad in every regard, became a self-made millionaire in his early 20s. Are you fucking kidding me? Other than junky moans, I don't think you can do much better as a human being on this fucking planet Earth than Florian Himsel. Fucking king. If we're gonna say Yas Queen to somebody just for being born with dark skin, we better say Yas King to a guy who has genuinely deserved it. Drake Dragsaw, dude, I almost got 1k subs on YouTube. I'm really, really close. Hey, everybody, go subscribe to Drake Dragsaw on YouTube, folks. He's really, really close. Go check him out. You're blowing the corn pizza guy out of proportion? I don't think so. The fact that his favorite meal is corn pizza is another reason why he earns eights here. Who the fuck eats corn pizza? I will feel, fill the e-rich void, that large void for Saul, yes. Sounds good to me, Mad Perfect. Why is uh, the confused monkey in black and white? We need to fix that. Filters, defaults, okay. So, somebody donate $50 to make sure that the monkey is back in color. Corn pizza is actually quite common in Argentina. He lives in Austria, my friend. He does not live in Argentina. In Argentina, one of the only meals I remember eating in Argentina was the the host family made pasta with chicken wings in the pasta. Bone-in chicken wings. So you're expected to eat with a fucking fork pasta that has bone-in chicken. What the fuck is your country thinking? <laughs> Don't put meat with bones in it in your fucking pasta illogical it makes no fucking sense am i supposed to tear this apart with a fork or do i reach into my pasta with my fucking fingers like a barbarian autist and eat that bone and what what do i do with the bone put it back in the pasta are you guys fucking crazy this is copy pasta, quit reading. No, this is me ex expressing an experience I've had. It's for that extra crunch. You want boneless pasta? Yes, literally I want boneless pasta. Who eats bone in pasta? I don't get it. Swallow the bone, retard. <laughs> Little Dacky, you expect too much of my esophagus. Sounds like your host was lazy though. Uh, <laughs> you can say that again. Does Elliot get A tier? Well, we're on Rusty Cage right now. Rusty Cage? Let's see, when when I say the name Rusty Cage, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Knife game? 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 Stole my background music. Knife game. That's like 9 out of 10 knife games. Who? The new song is very good. C for Cruz because he was in the Nicholas Cruz report. Uh, well. I have to say Rusty Cage is better than fucking Psy. And Rusty Cage stuck by my side even though he had more to lose than anybody else. Stealing music. I think Rusty Cage earns A tier. 
His videos are entertaining. His songs are brilliant. White Girls Fuck Dogs is a classic. A, a classic of humanity. And even though Amp Lemon quit the Sody podcast, Rusty Cage wants to continue it with me under a different name. You and Floria need to make Is It Kino Classic on older films just an idea. I think we're going to be covering a film from the 80s this Sunday since nothing came out in theaters. So that's kind of an Is It Kino Classic. Biggs. Um, I'm going to put Biggs in S tier. Biggs, uh, he means too much to me, folks. He's, he's funnier than I am. He's kinder than I am. He's smarter than I am. He He's a genuine, have-your-back kind of friend. The movie uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is so reminiscent of Biggs and I with me as Leo, the down-on-his-luck former star who is now kind of a laughing stock in the community. But he has... He has Brad Pitt by his side through thick and thin. They'll always be together. They're for the time, having fun all day, laughing around and palling away. Best friends, best friends are we. Making S plus for Biggs alone. S isn't enough for him. I think he's up there with Jump Key. I think that's fair. He stayed with you on your lowest point and was there to make the funniest puns. That's fucking true, Yudo. You're fucking right. You're fucking right. D for near death due to obesity. Biggs is going to outlive me. And he's just as depressed. He just has a stronger willpower. He quite literally has thicker skin and a stronger willpower to stay alive. Biggs is the easiest S tier of the entire list. S for salutations, dear viewer. That's right. Is Dick Masterson on here? I don't see him on here. Dick Masterson, if he was on here, that'd be easy A tier. Digibrony, Megaphony, homie, wanna fuck a pony, lonely, lowly lover, never ever wanna brush his teeth. Um, in terms of betrayals, Digibro gets an easy F tier right next to E Rich. Because I, and I think even over half of the PCP would agree, I literally did nothing wrong, but because Endless Jess had. A man-child bitch fit, and because Digibro can't get Endless Jess's four-inch cock out of his throat, uh, he he strong strong-armed me out of the PCP. I could have earned thousands of dollars in easy easy Patreon revenue, but this fucking crybaby bitch got me kicked out. And then when I made a video explaining just in in very plain english exactly what happened digi has an autism fit and posts a 25 minute video calling me out saying that my content is no longer funny like that has anything to do with him removing me from the pcp that's how you know a man has no genuine argument to make when he starts making ad hominem attacks because he knows he's in the fucking wrong and frankly, Digibro belongs below E-Ridge because he's more pathetic than any grown man I've ever met. And that's only because I've never met Endless Jess in person. Fucking pathetic. Vague Furball, thank you for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Honestly, Mumkey, your rankings on this tier list are fucking stupid. You're right, Super. You're right. Who the fuck is Mr. Meatman? Good question. That gets the literally who category. I hate to say it, but Mr. Meatman is a YouTuber who has been leeching off of my nutsack for so long that literally nobody would know who he is if not for me. And based on that alone, he gets the literally who category. If you've heard of Mr. Meatman without first hearing of Monkey Jones, you're in such an exclusive club that you might as well be a, a, a gay tran transgender Christian in the 1700s. That's how exclusive of a club you are in. I kind of like Mr. Meatman's old videos. Me too! I liked Mr. Meatman's old videos a lot. But then he fucking gave up and decided his only shot at fame was to leech off of my existence. And he still is gaining, what, five subscribers a month? It's fucking sad. It's fucking sad. You know what's really funny? And I, I hate to pick on the weak and powerless, folks. I don't want to be that kind of bully. But, according to Social Blade, 
I have earned more subscribers on the Simi and Jimmy channel this month. Mind you, this is my fifth fucking channel to get this big. I've earned more subscribers on the Simi and Jimmy channel this month than Endless Jess has earned in a fucking decade. <laughs> that cracked my fucking guts up. And they are currently- my sides are in orbit. It's just sad and pathetic. Sad and pathetic. A man who thinks so highly of himself. A man with an ego larger than Ego Raptor. Can't manage 25,000 subs in a decade. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Sonic says, hey, Mumkey, can I be on the Sonic the Hedgehog is a Kino? I literally have Sonic in my name and I'm autistic enough for it. Uh, I imagine so. I met. I mean, if, if Florian is on board, anything can happen. Endless Jess literally tries to tank his channel by releasing bad videos anytime he gets a hit video. What, so once every four years? When's the last time he had a hit video? Good question. I think every single video I put up gets more views in a day than his videos get in a month. I don't even know what a hit video would be on his channel. I can get... Every single channel I've ever made, other than one, has literally been unfairly terminated. And yet, each new one does better than his does within three fucking months. It's too easy. If you're genuinely that funny, would your subscriber count not reflect your level of comedic chops? Do the subscribers and the viewers not just follow what is the funniest? I don't know. And the saddest thing of all is, if the Monkey Jones channel had not been deleted a year ago, almost a full year ago today, I would have more subscribers than every single member of the PCP combined. And that's what eats away at my soul, is that I could have easily proven myself to be far superior than all of them combined, but Susan decided to give me a handicap, so now I have to prove myself all over again. Tragic. Reactor. Reactor is easy S tier. Y you don't get better than Reactor. Reactor's videos are next level commentary, next level satire. He's an expert of his craft. Nobody does what Reactor does. And even when he disappears for eight months at a time he always comes back with a long string of late epic gamer video content have you taken your power limiters off yet no much like captain marvel i'm, I'm waiting until the climax of my story to to unlatch those bad boys yeah, reactor s tier man he he trolled all of reddit he trolls youtube on a daily basis he even trolled myself when your satire is so good you you satirized uh, the, 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 the satirist over here. What can I do? He tricked me. He's funnier than me. He's got a lot going for him. S tier is easy. Uh, who is Manimal and why does he look like D Deep W E B Intel? Have you played Pokemon Black 2 and Black uh, in White 2? Yeah, I've played that, Frago. I played it when it came out. He's a major con artist with major letters. I mean, I'm literally wearing Reactor merch right now. How could I not give him S tier? I paid $22 for his fucking t-shirt. I have to be a Reactor stan. Jeremiah is S tier? No. In case you don't remember, Jeremiah the Gamer was a channel who was influenced by Daft Pina to do channel reviews. He did a channel review of me and the fun of the show was he's just some fucking 11 year old kid who's doing his best daft pina impression and he he would be reviewing people's channels while doing a, a poor imitation of daft pina just talking really slow and precisely but in the background you would hear his parents violently arguing and, and cursing at each other and stuff so I made a video saying he is one of the greatest reviewers on YouTube. And then he changes his style. Daft, uh, uh, Jeremiah the Gamer 
suddenly, when I call him out, he decides he wants to be a cool kid, and he starts cussing in his videos, and doing live streams and bull- he, he gave up on what made him pure. He gave up on the essence of Jeremiah the Gamer. No longer did we have the Daft Peanut ripoff. He just became another fucking 12 year old kid with a webcam who would cuss to try to be funny. And I lost a lot of respect for him. I liked his videos so much more before he started uh, uncensoring himself. It was much funnier when he would say F word instead of fuck. YouTubers always change when they blow up. Yeah, girly girl, you know it. He gave out his credit card info, remember? I remember he was live streaming himself go on 4chan and a bunch of fucking trap porn popped up and then he had to end the live stream to delete it and then start a new stream. That alone earns him at least B tier. But Jeremiah, he let us down. He betrayed what made him great. And then he, he gave up and stopped making videos, and I personally cannot respect that. It's why if Filthy Frank was on this fucking list, he would be D or F tier. Anybody who abandons the YouTube community to become a, a shitty SoundCloud rapper, get fucked. Fuck you. Suck my monkey cock, you fucking quitter. Of all the people on YouTube, the only person who has permission to quit is me. And even I didn't fucking quit. Fuck you. Fuck you. End your life. <sighs> Those Jeremiah streams were better than yours? Doesn't matter, he quit. If you quit, you get shit. B tier is the best you can do. Even Medicare hasn't quit yet. He deleted all his videos. I mean, what are you gonna do? You, don't delete all your videos if you want me to respect you. Ginchy Goober! Thank you for subscribing. Sheepkey Jones? Sheepkey, Sheepkey Jones is, uh, was Mumkey or Jumkey, uh, playing Pokemon Black 2 after canceling my pre order for Shield, not supporting Game Freak's Jewish tricks. Technically, I could be live streaming Pokemon Sword and Shield right now because they just came out. But after all the backlash and how lazy they were in making the game, I don't know if I want to support them with my $60. I think I'm better off just streaming this stupid bullshit. Sheepkey was Jumpkey's sidekick when Jumpkey was planning his mass shooting. He has uh, a tendency to use the N word quite often. And as far as villains go, I think he's at least C tier. I'd, I'd put Sheepkey next to Manimal. He, uh, he didn't do a whole lot, but when he was on screen, he was always a delight. I'm Sheepkey Jones. That's right. I can't say the rest of that quote. Not on Twitch. He could have reinvented himself. Uh, medical reasons ain't shit. I, I assume you're talking about Filthy Frank. Deepest lore, Jewish propaganda. Uh, I still think I'm gonna end up getting it though. A lot of the new Pokemon look really good. I don't know. I'm not even, even if the game was good, I'm not really that enthusiastic about playing a new Pokemon game. I don't know if I'm getting older or what. I'm just, I just don't really give a shit. He was very funny, funny. Sup, monkey? Hey, what's up, Stoner Stan? What happened happened to the sheepkey plot? Uh, it ended in uh, the guilt and regret survival guide. That's that's the end of that arc. I don't know what uh, sheepkey's up to up to now, but I assume he's still planning his revenge. I don't even know where he is. I might have not brought him with me when I moved. Rumkey Jones. He only appeared in one video, and I don't even remember which one. He gets an easy literally who tier. Could not tell you which video of mine Rumkey Chones was in. Uh, don't know how he got included in the list when other characters did not. Down Syndrome Key Jones. Uh, so he was like a horrible, disgusting monkey mask that just wished for death the whole time. A pretty funny one note character, but not much funnier than Emp Lemon, gotta say. Has Pokemon worse since Black and White 2? Uh, I liked X and Y. Sun and Moon I did not like. 
I don't like that they changed the formula so much that you no longer fought gym leaders. I thought that was a huge mistake. I don't know what they were thinking. And now this new one looks like fucking garbage. So I think the Pokemon franchise might as well be dead. Where is Uncle Alex? Yeah, good question. I, whoever made this did not know what they were doing. Neander Keydones? He's, he's barely in the fucking show either. He can go next to Down Syndrome. I don't even fucking remember any of his dialogue other than he had like a caveman voice. Sheep keep planning to do the shooting again after guilt and regret. Yeah, well, that didn't really pan out, did it? I, I can't give him credit for something he didn't do. Sun and Moon felt like I was being babied. Yeah, that seems to be, uh... Game Freak wants to really pander to the child audience and they don't really give a fuck about their hardcore adult audience anymore. And that's why the newer games have been lackluster and kind of sad. Kermit the Frog here, giving myself a ranking of... What does Kermit the Frog here... What, what is his ranking? Chat, you guys are bigger Kermit the Frog fans than I. Where does he belong? S tier? I don't know. If it, you really think Kermit's S tier? All he did was he was a guest star on the Insufferable Social Media Argument podcast, and I think he did one episode of a Let's Play playing Froger. I see lots of S tier for Kermit the Frog. All right. If you guys insist, I guess Kermit the Frog here. It's S tier for me. Kermit the Frog was on Monkey's Movie Missions? I don't remember that. He was on Boomer vs. Zoomer? I don't remember that either. How drunk am I when I record this shit? I don't remember that at all. Baseball Sam? Easy A tier. I, I It bears repeating. If you have not listened to the... Simi and Jimmy interview show episode with teen nostalgia critic Baseball Sam made one of the greatest YouTube review videos of all time and then I interviewed him about it moments later and He was not shy about revealing the darkest secrets of his family history He revealed that his, his father at the age of 14 lost his virginity to a college student and he did not seem to understand why that was an issue. <laughs> uh, despite living less than 15 minutes away from me, Baseball Sam refused to meet in person. All I wanted to do was go bowling with him, and he told me to go fuck myself. The audacity alone earns him an A for audacity. Unfortunately, Baseball Sam, for some reason, upon his high school graduation, deleted all of his YouTube videos, and then complained on Twitter as of last month that all the videos were not archived by any fans. Bitch, you deleted them. It, YouTube didn't delete your channel. You literally deleted them without saving copies. What the fuck were you thinking? Uh, but he gets A tier for being based as fuck. How based do you have to be to delete your own videos and then be upset that they don't exist anymore? Don't understand why they're making Pokemon games easy if kids are coming out of the unicorn playing Fortnite. Because Game Freak is lazy and out of touch and probably just a bunch of boomers, frankly. Uh, what are you gonna do? Will you go bowling with me in India? <laughs> do you live in India, Bacon Crafted Curtain? Who killed Hannibal? Yeah, that's pretty much what Baseball Sam did. Mumkey is woke? Very true. I'm the wokest Twitch streamer slash YouTuber you'll ever see. Where is Asterios? He's literally after Asperger. Take a look. It's in a book. The Reading Rainbow. Kermit's first appearance was on God's Not Dead Monkey's Movie Missions. I think Manimal hated that bit more than Harambe's sister. <laughs> oh, you know what? Despite Manimal being C tier, I do miss the Manimal days, even though I was a, a no-name, zero-dollar nobody living with, with mom and dad. The Manimal days, they truly were something special. Even I can't watch those videos back because of how cringy they were. 
My uh, my voice had I had not dropped my balls yet. My voice is still very high pitched, and it, it was just horrendous. I don't know how anybody watched anything I ever made. Why are donations being censored? Doesn't look that censored to me. I see your donation right there, Proto Frog, Proton Frog. What censorship do you speak of? I just saw your donation. Mumkey has a homeless hobo mustache. That's fair. I have, I have a reverse Hitler mustache. It'll grow everywhere except for the middle. Grandma, easy A tier. Grandma was such a sport. She would put up with my bullshit uh, famously. And somebody stole this scene or stole this clip and it went viral on a whole bunch of fucking iFunny Vine websites. The scene of Grandma serving me macaroni and cheese and then I start screaming. I wanted macaroni shaped like SpongeBob characters, you old bitch! And then I punch her in the face. Uh, the fact that Grandma was willing to put up with that bullshit earns her an a easy A tier. Not quite S tier. Because she has not done enough to earn that position. But A tier? Easy. Easy. I think anybody would give their own Grandma at least A tier. Folks, I know you want to give her S tier, but she has not appeared in a video in like three fucking years. And I don't think she is willing to do any more. <laughs> A tier is the best I can do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Grandma, I'll go to your funeral. I'll accept your inheritance. But A tier is the best I can do. You're below Kermit the Frog, Granny. What can I say? I'm sorry. It's the fact of the matter. The word... Poi is censored to unicorn? Well, you're gonna have to be more specific. I don't know why you're typing all these fake words into the donations. I don't- what do you expect me to understand? Grandma refused the sex tape. We're about $9,000 short of Grandma refu uh, reviewing the sex tape. And I only made it 9000 because the only way she's going to agree to that is if I give her $9,000 in cash. <laughs> so, uh, you guys gotta get to work. Oh, Asperger. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well. Asperger was the truest bro. He he suffered from extreme mental illness, depression, obesity, alcoholism, the big three. No pun intended. Uh, I have a theory that by achieving the lowest self-esteem without you falling into the spiral you could achieve the ultimate self-awareness and wokeness what do you think I, I wouldn't say I have low self-esteem I would say I understand that concepts like pride and shame are are m small brain ideas if you actually give a fuck about your personal pride or if you actually feel social shame you might not be on the highest cognitive, cognitive level possible. You could be doing much better for yourself. Stop taking your 80 years of existence so seriously and just be yourself unironically. You don't need to be proud. You don't need to be ashamed. Just be yourself. And the way others view you literally does not matter. Because who fuck- If you unironically care what random strangers on the internet think of you, then just literally commit suicide right now because you are a pathetic waste of existence. Your brain capacity is so low, you're just a waste of oxygen. Stop caring what other people think and live your best life regardless of what everybody else thinks. That's- That's my opinion. That's my philosophy, that's what I live by. I do literally whatever I want 24-7 and I don't care what a single one of you morons at home has to say about it. That is the most Chad life you could possibly live. Doesn't matter if you're slaying pussy left and right or not. If you're happy being you and nobody can interfere with that happiness, you win and you cannot be defeated. Literally, no matter what, you cannot be defeated if you don't care what other people think. K 
caring about other people's opinions of you is the most beta male pathetic form of existence literally possible. End your life. You are pathetic. You demonstrated this by not kowtowing to the masses, demanding granny BS tier. You're goddamn right. <laughs> you're goddamn right. You're giving me good advice, but you're telling me to kill myself at the same time. I'm conflicted. Don't kill yourself. Just stop giving a shit. And Roxum8296, I have a feeling there are less than 20 people on this planet that actually give a fuck about you. Just saying, statistically, that's probably true. Why let those 20 literal who's influence your emotions inside your brain? If they dislike you, fuck them. If they like you, take advantage of that to the highest degree possible. It's that easy. If they dislike you, disregard them. If they like you, milk that shit as much as you can, buddy. The most valuable thing you can have is somebody who unironically likes you for no reason. <laughs> Easy. If I become a successful millionaire, I'll find you and give you some. I would highly appreciate that. I could use the money. <laughs> Asperger was uh, the best friend a man could have for years. He helped me write several of my videos. The latter half of the anime reviews, he was my uh, script doctor. He helped me put in some of my funniest jokes. He came up with lots of original music. He helped me uh, script and research the Elliot Roger documentaries I made. But his alcoholism was such a crutch that he destroyed his entire life and every single one of his relationships with it. With it. And despite me being the most loyal friend humanly possible, he still decided that I was the cause of all of his personal problems. And he genuinely uh, resented me for saving his girlfriend's life. And that's about as pathetic as a man can be. Just because he thinks he's so much better than everybody, including Digibro, I'm gonna rank him below Digibro. Get fucked, you fat retard. I'm glad you're living back with mom and dad. I'm glad that all your relationships have failed, and I hope you drink yourself to death. Get fucked. You had your chance of redemption and you fucking blew it. So get fucked. Nobody will ever like you again. And they shouldn't. I'm conflicted. I find your old content very enjoyable, but dislike your real personality. You're on the wrong stream, my friend. You should go watch, I guess, the Age 3 podcast if you want a watered-down fake human being. Go watch something like that. This podcast, this stream is reserved for real personalities. Go find something else to watch. Asterios gets C for cuck. It's that easy, folks. It's that fucking easy. Asterios, uh, when he was on Biggest Problem, I thought he was hysterical. When he guest starred on the Isma podcast, I was honored to, that he would even bother to talk to me. It was, it was unimaginable becoming genuine friends with the man. He's a man who I worshipped as a, a comedy legend. A man who, who, through podcasts, was there for me. When I was sad and depressed, I thought it was hysterical. I somehow became very good friends with him and I couldn't believe my luck. I couldn't believe what was happening. But then he he went down the path of an E-Rich and just lost it. He couldn't handle my opinions on movies that literally were shit like Ocean's 8 or The Last Jedi or Watchmen. Uh, he would unironically compare me to alt-right Nazis because of my opinions on movies. Uh, when it became unpopular to be friends with me, he decided he didn't want to do a, a weekly podcast with me anymore. When I have a comeback and I'm back in the limelight slightly, and I invite him, hey, let's do our podcast monthly. He says no. And now he's too busy. Despite the fact that our podcast got 10 times the listeners and downloads of his current podcast, uh, he's not a man motivated by success. I think that's safe to say. He's not a man motivated by success. 
Also, just behind the scenes, he rubbed me the wrong way. He seemed, and I, I hate to say this, he seemed a, a tad bit, um... Gaslighty? If he wants something from you to, to uphold his public reputation, he will pull out all the stops to manipulate you and treat you like fucking shit. When people were giving him shit because he called me a Nazi on a podcast, he essentially blackmailed me on Discord into tweeting out saying he didn't call me a Nazi, even though he literally did. And he, 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 he forced me to post a tweet that I didn't want to fucking post just so he could retweet it and prove that he didn't call me a Nazi, even though you could listen to the podcast and he fucking did. So he could see tear for cuck. Fuck him. Fuck him. We could be doing a monthly podcast right now and he could actually have a, a popular show. But he said no, so fuck him. I don't give a shit. Nerd City S tier for Saint. Another man who had my back when it was unpopular to do so. Still to this day gives me 50 bucks on Patreon. Would have long conversations with me on the phone when I was at my lowest point. He motivated me to stay alive and keep kicking and keep making content. And he makes the best content on the entire website. He's uh, he's a king. He, he's uh, he's the man. He's uh, he's ultra lord. Wings of Redemption. He's not really part of the Monkey Cinematic Universe. I've never interacted with him. I just include memes about him in my videos from time to time. But uh, and I hate to say this, but. I find Wings of Redemption to be an inspirational figure. He gets bullied and trolled online more than anybody I can think of other than maybe Chris Chan. But he's still streaming three times a week. So many of you fucking beta males and cucks. If you had to put up with one 80th of the bullying Wings of Redemption gets online, you would quit the internet for life. You would run away kicking and screaming like a fucking pathetic baby. And Wings of Redemption still goes on and on and on. Uh, he's not even part of my universe and he still gets beat here. I got mad respect for a man who doesn't know when to quit. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, da -da -da -da. Call me trash. Do you still believe in redemption? Would you give a chance? To any of the weasels, or is it too late? I I believe in redemption more than any person on this earth. The only reason why I still resent Endless Jess and Digibro and Asperger is because these pathetic fucking beta males refuse to admit when they're wrong. These are three human beings who never, in their shared 60 years on this earth, have never, ever, ever, ever admitted that they were wrong. And that is the most pathetic stance I can possibly imagine. Somebody whose ego and narcissism is so high that they literally think they've never made a mistake in their entire fucking lives. Get fucked. Are they capable of redemption? Absolutely. If they can get over themselves, which none of them can, they are the definition of birds of a feather flock together. Get fucked. Admit that you're wrong for once in your fucking life, and I'll respect you again. Until then, I'm going to mock and harass all of you for the rest of my existence. If you wanted to end, either admit that you were wrong once, or kill me. Unless you do one of those two, I'm gonna profit from making fun of you literally forever. And Elliot Roger, obvious S tier. I would not have a career if not for him. And that's it. That's uh, that's the tier list. Monkey Cinematic Universe tier list. We did it, folks. I think we missed a few characters, but I'm pretty happy with this tier list. Sai is right there. He's B tier. Elliot was a saint. I tend to agree. Tomas, nobody knows what he looks like. Monkey is chaotic good. I tend to agree. Where do you rank sheep over? S tier. Sheep over did nothing wrong. S for sheep over. Lego monkey from the Sodi video. Uh, also S tier. Wait, am I even on here? 
I don't get to rank myself at D tier where I belong? That's just sad. I wish I was on here. Talk about Argentina. Okay. Uh, when I was a senior in high school, we had a foreign exchange student. And she and I became very close friends. I was probably the best friend she made while she was in Iowa. Then she went back to Argentina. And the following summer, I spent 2,000 hard-earned dollars to fly down to her shithole country. And we hung out for two weeks. I went gambling. At the age of 18, I made like $400 in pesos at a casino. That was a lot of fun. Unfortunately, the World Cup was uh, going on at the time. And Argentina and Germany were the final two of the World Cup. And the finale between the two teams was on my birthday, July 13th. And Argentina lost the game. So I got to celebrate my uh, uh, 19th birthday in a country that was weeping because they lost a soccer game. The family I was with was weeping. My birthday cake covered in tears. Uh, it, it was the funniest birthday I've ever had. You should try to include yourself in the Sonichu canon. It's really easy. I don't really give a shit about Chris Chan. I don't know anything about him. How can we never learn about that lore? I guarantee you I've talked about it before. It's just that 95% of the videos I've ever made have been deleted. So what, what am I going to do?